So you want to do public improvisation? No. You did or you did not? No, we discussed it. You discussed it, okay. And I didn't know much about anything, and they were, they were yeah, they went off almost immediately to uh, Olivier's new, new, the new National Theatre. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, Olivier chose those guys, both from the Royal Court, because he wanted to be with the new, the new generation and stuff. Uh, but I still didn't do it. But then, oh yes, that's right. Devine, Gaskell was teaching Mars because Devine gave us a Mars class, a couple of Mars classes. We didn't tell the students. We'd only had two Mars classes, or one. Uh, and and Mars were getting very interesting effects with masks. And then Gaskell went to help run the National Theatre. So I took over the studio. I was teaching masks and I was making innovations. I was changing things. And it had been handed down from Jacques Copeau back in 1905 mm -hmm. or whenever. <laughs> Stavine thought this isn't right. And so it, he couldn't, he was teaching comedy very badly. He was not, he was not gifted at that. So he decided he would teach the mask and I should teach comedy. Although I never taught it before. And I was very good at it, as it happened. I'm not sure why. And I still don't know why. I was a lot better than he was. And then after a few weeks, he discovered the students were much better if they'd worked with me or Gaskell than him. So he gave up the mask classes. I taught the masks, half masks. Mm -hmm. And I also taught comedy. And God, it was funny, you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, right. We've been having a great time these two days. But are we kidding ourselves? How do we know the work has value? You have to take it in front of strangers. You cannot play to your friends. No. You cannot play to other improvisers. Oh, no. No. <laughs> you have to go... Yeah, so, I began... I wrote to six training colleges and said, didn't mention comedy. I said, we'll show you the interesting acting techniques we're developing at the Royal Court Theatre Studio. And we'd go along and we'd do a two hour session and they would laugh more. It wasn't as easy as it was in the studio because there was much more fear in those days. Yeah. But God, if you were, if you were anywhere near as even mildly amusing, they laugh more. That's fantastic. And so, because you were sort of, you were sort of running a public class. I was giving classes in public. Then, then you didn't have to get things past the censor. But yeah, but then we were doing it almost immediately on public stages. Because uh -huh. people, people saw they could make money off us. Sure. But the first time I went out, I was t terrified. But I knew the actors would be okay because they're actors. Yeah, you know, I'm just running the studio. I don't know actors mm -hmm. much. And to my horror, after I'd done a five-minute introduction, I turned and they were terrified. They were all trying to get behind each other. And all 26 students in the class had come. Damn it. Oh, too many improvisers. Oh, far too many. Yeah. And they're, petro they're much more scared than I am. I would never have done it if I didn't think the actors were secure on stage. No, I didn't. All actors were afraid. I didn't understand that. Mm. That's why they don't look like people. Because they're afraid. Because they're afraid. Uh -huh. And we know that now. And when did you come uh. to Canada? You came to Expo 67. Oh, it is. That's why it's been a few years we were sort of famous. And the Canadians invited us to play at the Youth Pavilion for a week in Expo. It's great, you don't have to line up. Mm. You get taken in at the head of all the queues. Mm -hmm. And the Youth Theatre was a really nice building. There was a Hanamichi, uh, 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 you could get right down in, like Las Vegas, they imported the thing where the performer can get into the audience. Yeah, so a beautiful theatre to work in. An anecdote might be useful. Sure. They told us, <laughs> we could only work for 20 minutes 
because it was in the middle of a fairground. They said they, there's no way you would hold people yeah, they longer found, than 20 they minutes. They found that you can't hold people for more than 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we said, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we worked all day. We did six hours. Six hours of improvisation. Yeah. And the audience stayed, and they went away for lunch, and they came back again. Amazing. Well, because they'd never seen anything like it.